Welcome back. Uh, we're going to look at uh, taking some data in Excel, putting it into Jump software, and then creating a control chart. So you can see on the screen the, the data that's in an Excel file. So I'm going to just copy this data. And I'm going to go to uh, a, a Jump uh, table I already have open. And I'm going to go to Edit. And Paste with Column Names. All right, now my data's entered there. So let's just uh, close that, go back to uh, this. Okay. So now what we need to do is... Uh, is we need to have these these readings. So day one we had three readings, day two three. We need to put these readings in the same column. So to do that we go to tables and stack. Uh, indicate which columns I want stacked, which would be one the columns with the labels one, two, and three. What label I want above that consolidated stacked. And I'll put reading. And then oh, what type of table name I want for the output. I'm going to put temp data. And say OK. Alright, so now I've got this uh, new data table with the, uh, the day, day one, the three rows for reading one, two, and three, and the data. Okay, so now to put this into a control chart, I go to analyze. Uh, quality and process, control chart, and then X bar. Here's my my data. Associate that with process. The day for my sample label. Uh, by default, X bar and R and uh, three sigma. And I can say OK. And now it's created the X bar and our control chart. Uh, in this case we can uh, see that the process is out of control. We have a point here uh, above the upper control limit. Alright, that's it. Thanks.